Hello everybody, I am Tony. Welcome to my channel. If you have never been here before, special welcome to you. If you haven't noticed, today we are going to be doing a nail tutorial. I'm going to be doing some kind of pride nails, like that type of thing. And right now I really can't see a whole lot because the recording bar is directly over my um, hand. So I'm going to do my best to just tell you guys what's going on. So I believe right now that I'm putting base coat on my middle finger, and I think I just showed you that, or it's top coat. It's top coat on my middle finger. And I'm going to put glitter on my middle finger color by color. I have red glitter, then I have orange and yellow micro mylar, and then I have green glitter, blue glitter, and purple glitter, which, I go through putting them on my nails and um, this is a process it does take quite a few minutes to get through and but I'm trying um, I did have quite a struggle with this nail and I want to do this again um, but execute it differently like try to do it a different way or something because I really like how it came out but I was just not 100% happy with how it came out. Like maybe I could put color behind it and then do like a white with the glitter on top or something like that so that the glitter popped a little bit more because it just didn't look perfect to me with a clear background. I guess that's part of the problem because the spaces seem way more wide open without a color behind it but you know I'm trying my hardest um I am still new to nails go figure but um you know I am trying with everything and I'm learning a whole lot you know there's so many different products so many different applications so many different things that you can learn when it comes to nails that you know it just can be hard and coming into this video i had already put on my nails i had pushed my cuticles back um i buffed the nails i put them on with the six in one uh nail glue for nail tips by born pretty and I, um, I did buff the nails and then I put base coat on them so they would be prepared for whatever I was going to put on top of them. So right here, I'm kind of finishing the nail up and then we'll get into the rest of them. I am going to be doing some glitter work, obviously, you saw that already, some crystal work, I'm going to be working with nail polishes and nail powder, so this will be a fun set of nails that I really enjoy. So right now I'm painting my pinky like a tealish blue color, I know it's not perfect pride colors, but I just wanted to go with like a rainbow sort of theme, so here I start painting my ring finger green and I actually put two coats on each nail um, but you guys don't really see that with you know the lovely editing that goes on today now I am putting a purple neon on my pointer finger but it is kind of pastel to me even though it came in a fluorescent kit. Um, not sure what fluorescent purple actually looks like because it always kind of looks kind of pastel. And then on my thumb, I'm going to do some hot pink. And like I said, I know these aren't perfect pride colors, but um, I just wanted to stick with like a bright rainbow type of theme. And I figured these colors really pop so it was really cute and there we go with that so um now i'm going to put top coat on my nails that's what i was showing you with my fingers <laughs> so everything gets a color of or a coat of top coat 
and I don't know why I'm showing you guys like the one nail getting top coated and everything I don't know if I show you guys everything getting top coated it doesn't really matter either way um you guys know what top coat looks like <laughs> so um just doing that real quick and getting that out of the way and then my hand goes in the lamp for a minute and then I got out a top coat that really didn't matter you know it was one of my other ones that was older and I had to get another one because that one was empty <laughs> and I was using it because of the glitter because it was going to get glitter in it because of me going over top of the glitter that was there even though it was put on a top coat I knew there were going to be a few pieces of glitter that got in there so I just did that over top of the glitter so that you know if glitter got in the brush or in the bottle it was okay and not really a big deal but I did want to seal that glitter in so that it did stay now I got out my McCart rhinestone glue and I'm going to put that on my purple pointer finger and I'm going to put a line on my green ring finger and then I'm going to start working with my crystals I do go kind of off screen not totally but a little bit and I apologize about that right here it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing but I did put the nails on or the rhinestones on in a pattern where it was like red yellow orange green blue purple and my yellow and orange were kind of like the same colors or it was red orange yellow yeah that's what I said and the green was really light but that was all I had so I had to use what I had and then I went through and I put some AB crystals on my ring finger just different shapes and things like that because um you know they actually shine and show you the rainbow too pretty much every color in it so I figured they would work really well with a rainbow set and I just pop them in the lamp for a second because it literally only takes like 20 seconds to set them with the McCart rhinestone glue I then take some uh, hollow powder and I'm rubbing that into my thumb I thought hollow would go great with a set of pride nails because you see every color in the rainbow and hollow and it just works out so perfectly um, it really couldn't have gone any better I really was happy with the way that this turned out and it was the perfect thing for this set so I just continue to rub this into my thumb and then I switch over to my pinky and also do that with hollow powder which is so so beautiful um, I actually just got this hollow powder the other day from Amazon and then I just dust off the excess and then top coat well actually hold on I think before I top coat it yeah I take my McCart rhinestone glue and I put some cuticle rhinestones on the thumbnail you know one or two at a time just really really small ones but it's perfect to just give that nail the extra little va va voom that it needs it's kind of perfect actually for the set you know they're a b2 so they show off the rainbow and then i finish that and then i start off with the pinky and do the same thing and just set the crystals on my cuticle with that nail also so just one at a time you know I'm not 
in a huge hurry when I'm doing things like this because, you know, they are kind of tedious, but at the same time, it is something that needs to be done properly. And then I set them. Then I top coat those nails, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that should be top coat. And then I just top coat the thumb and the pinky one at a time. And I can't really see what I'm doing again because my nails were under the light, but, um, or under the recording bar. It is really hard to do this. I have to figure out a way to get rid of the bar. So anyway, um, I did make sure that all that was done. I put some cuticle oil on and this is the set. It is done and they look stunning. I'm so happy with how they turned out. I hope all you guys have a great day and you're all doing wonderful. I will talk to you guys very, very soon. So wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, I hope you're having a great one. Bye guys.